Hello everybody and happy Monday. I wanted to come on while I was quickly catching a bite of a uh, lunch to give you your tip of the week. So last week, just building upon what we'd spoken about last week, was sit to stand and a bit of advice on what was the easiest way to do sit to stand in relation to how you brought your bottom forward in the chair, your hand placement on the arms of the chair, and then bringing your nose over your toes to help you to stand. <clears throat> and then as you came down, making sure you felt the chair behind both of your knees, put your hands down onto the arms of the chair and had a nice controlled sit down. This week, your tip of the week is using that transfer. So using that function that we all do every day as an exercise. Okay, so if you have either yourself, you feel that your legs are a bit weak or you feel your balance isn't great, or if you have an elderly relative that you feel is maybe just a little bit weaker and you feel that their balance isn't quite as good or they're not quite as strong or sit to stand is a problem, then you want to get them to practice sit to stand. Now to us it might sound like that's quite straightforward, okay, but it's really not. If you try to practice standing up and sitting down using the technique that we described in last week's tip of the week and seeing if you can do that repetitively for maybe up to 10 times. If you felt that 10 times standing up and then sitting back down was becoming too easy, then you could try to increase it to 15 times and start to really work on the endurance of your leg muscles. So sit to stand is a great exercise for strengthening all of your lower limb muscles and it also helps with your balance. So as you stand up, you have to acquire your balance as you stand and then you have to control the sit down as you come down. So it's a wonderful functional exercise that you can use for strengthening. It's also really good for your exercise tolerance if you have anybody who has problems with their chest. So if they have say COPD or they have difficulty with their exercise tolerance, if yourself or any of your relatives have had COVID and you feel okay, my exercise tolerance just isn't as it was and I get out of breath easily or say I get out of breath as I go up the stairs. Simply practicing standing up and sitting down repetitively 10, 20 times will help you to increase your exercise tolerance as well. So why not give it a go? Try it yourself just now. So try standing up from the chair and sitting down and see if you can do 10 times in a row and you'll be able to feel those leg muscles working out hard. And using that technique of gently walking your bottom forward to the front of the chair, making sure you have armrests on both sides, hands on the arms of the chair, nose over your toes, and then going to push up and standing up nice and tall when you stand. And as you come down, making sure that your knees are, feel the chair behind both of your knees, hands back onto the arms of the chair and have a nice controlled sit down. Okay, I hope that that helps. Give it a go yourselves. Help out your relatives and say okay. 